So here is the engine for the go kart. It is a Jing Dong 196cc engine. So you can get that on there. I also have a new carburetor for the engine. One cool thing about this go kart is it has a kill switch on it that you can shut off the engine just by flicking that switch. And it has these wires. They'll run up. got the engine up on the go-kart now. Now I'm gonna start up this go-kart, see if it all runs. But first, we need to get a little bit of ventilation. Kill switch works. That's good. The engine still runs. So the go kart runs, and as you could hear, it sounded pretty rich. It wasn't running quite right. And as I showed you before, the adjusting screw in the carburetor is broken. So I bought a new one. So the next I'm going to swap it out. So here's the new carburetor. There we go. Nice, shiny, and new. And it has the adjusting screw. This one does not have the adjusting screw. So, that's what it's supposed to look like. Also, this came with a new fuel hose. And also the choke lever and some gaskets and hose clamps. So let's get to work. So I have to remove this air filter that's held on by the swing nut. Okay, that comes off. And next, I need to remove this bolt and this bolt to take this plastic cover off. Okay, now I can pull it off. There we go. Here's the carburetor now. We've got this old gasket here. Which I have a replacement one. 
I'll set that there. Now, take off the choke lever. And I need to un unhook the gas line. Okay, I have the rest of it draining in there. I'm just gonna wait for it to drain. This is my luck. The other funnel started leaking. It has cracks in it. So, this is what you gotta do sometimes. Okay, I got the gas tank all drained for the most part. And now I got the carburetor off. There's this gasket here. And I would say it's seen better days. This held on by a plug wire. Remove the plug wire. Have that. And another gasket. You can see straight into the engine there. See, that's the valve. Yeah, that's the top of the valve there. Hmm, pretty cool. Okay, so I took the gas tank off this. I completely drained it. And the reason I did that is so I could change this old gas line with the new one. Now, oh, it's even the right size and everything, so that's great. So I got the hose out, or the old hose out. Now we're gonna put the new hose on, and it came with these nice, shiny new clips, so let's put that on there. Okay, the new hose is on there. So I got the carburetor, or the gas tank back mounted. So, next thing to do is to attach the new carburetor. You can probably look at the difference between the two carburetors and see which one's the new one and which one's the old one. Here, with the adjusting screw. This one, it broke off. So there you go. We got our soles in our box. This gasket, which slides, lines up perfectly. Okay, now. Now we're ready for a shiny new carburetor. And this gasket on. Uh, so, I almost forgot to put the choke lever on. There we go. I have the filter back on and I am probably gonna have to use the levers off the old carburetor because the fumes reach them through here. That's not a big deal for now. Now it's time to add a little bit of gas in there.
Okay, those two, the gas shut off lever and then the choke lever, we're gonna swap them out onto the new carburetor because as you can see, they're just too short. You can even do it, so let's do that. You guys already seen how the choke lever comes off, so I'll take that off. And then I just gotta take these two screws off, take this off. Well, we got the old lever back on, so it's longer, and it works. I managed to spill at least at least a dollar's worth of gas right there, so that sucks. Now to put the old choke lever onto the new carburetor. Now I got both switches switched over from those short and stubby things. So, that's good. Now it's time to attach the throttle cable to the engine. So, you gotta bolt it down there, then attach it to the lever. So, I'll do that real quick. Okay, so I have the throttle cable hooked up now. And it works. Uh, Multicolored cable ties is all I have. So, luckily, you know, I have orange ones. They don't look too bad. So, I'll cable tie that cable there. And there we go. Got everything cable tied throttle cable and also to the kill switch so just need to cut those all and mount the seat and then we should be ready to go okay I got the seat on it looks great now I just need to tune the carburetor up a little better so let's grab a screwdriver here What are you doing? Yeah, so let's do that. Okay, so I tightened the adjusting screw all the way down and backed it out one and a half turns, and that's usually a good starting point for 